you hear my disclosures. So we briefly talk about uh, the basics and some protocol considerations. Then, of course, metal artifact reduction, CT, then the crystal um, deposition diseases, a little bit about typing, how far we can go, then bone marrow edema detection. And these three are probably the top three applications, and uh, we do this routinely. And then some of these are emerging. I think collagen mapping, um, especially in the spine, is becoming uh, clinically viable. Bone marrow imaging is interesting uh, for oncological applications, then iodine imaging, and um, especially for uh, CT arthrography, and uh, we're actually going to skip the angiography because we don't have time. So let's talk about some basics. So dual energy CT has been around for quite a while. Uh, we may perceive it as something new, but um, uh, you may have come across this name here, uh, Willie Callender. He's one of the masterminds of CT uh, through several CT generations, but um, they have reported this in 1987. And um, the scanner technology wasn't quite there yet, but in principle, um, this has been around for a while, and even uh, with, with the dual energy application there. So why is it working? And that's just a brief touch on that. So um, tissues attenuate uh, x-rays based on their uh, photon energy. So that is how we send the x-rays in. But then based on the atomic density and the atomic number. And this is obviously different for many uh, for our tissues. And so there's different determinants on how the attenuation uh, occurs, and it's not linear. Then there's the uh, the mechanisms, the photo photoelectric effect, and the uh, Compton scattering. And so you may remember that from physics. I think the bottom line is that it's not linear, uh, and it's not only not linear; it makes jumps, right? So if we, you remember from school, uh, somebody once said, uh, "Nature doesn't make any jumps." So here, certainly, it makes jumps, right? And so um, this is like the K edge. You may remember that as well. And in body applications, uh, this is great also for MSK, um, that you can get better iodine attenuation with lower KVs. And now that the scanner technology has improved and we have better heat capacity, uh, we can scan a lot more with lower KV and higher MAS uh, without scanners heating up.